Ai, genul retired Ioer Cauta Museveni, President of the Republic of Uganda and Commander in Chief of the Uganda People's Defense Forces, by virtue of the authority entrusted to me by the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda and the law governing the Defense Forces of Uganda do hereby commission you to be officers of the Uganda People's Defense Forces at the ranks of Lieutenant <laughs> and Second Lieutenant from this 15th day of October 2024. May God help you. Signed. I want to congratulate Uganda, first of all. Because in the past, the big problem was having an army of illiterate people. Now, those illiterate people could not fight, because fighting needs knowledge. That's why we defeated them. And we told them, we told them that, please, ed recruit educated people in the army. But they were not interested. They thought that illiteracy would, would help, was good for the army, which we, we didn't agree. But as you heard, even the ones who are not professionals, all of them are minimum all level, or even in the case of Uganda, A level, advanced level, and then. So therefore, here I congratulate Uganda as a country for having an army which is educated, able to absorb modern ideas, including the ideas of of, of, of fighting a modern war which needs a lot of technical information. On the side of the officer cadets, you have now very good opportunity. You have un you entered a good force a force with a very good history and with a lot of potential for progress, even for you as an individual. All you need to do is, first of all, look after your, your health. Don't ruin your health by Umaraya, alcohol, and that, those, those diversions, so that you remain fit. Secondly, as you had the Lieutenant General Kiting telling you, avoid corruption. It's not correct for you to pollute your record with corruption. And it's not necessary at all. We have got our water down here in Katonga. We can, we can get some solar-powered water pumps, which pump water to the high ground, and then you irrigate. So that's Navanakasambi and Abo. Baba Igireko. Navanakasambi and Musuni Huawa Elza. But they never end the middle. Eh, Navanakasambi and Gabazuk Sevanan. Whom you were sitting? There's Chancellor Katonda Jari. Katman Baganda Kongaramo or Kawefube. 
to introduce irrigation. That irrigation pushes up production tremendously. Coming to Brazil's location, because today you are adding more strength to the country Uganda, to the UPDF, and to the individual officers who have assembled before you. Some of you fell out, but I thank you for good thinking. Today you are here, tomorrow you will be somewhere. And when you go, put things right. I want to tell you before His Excellency that where you are going, again I'm saying put things right. Your Excellency, corruption in the army has scaled down. Friends and friends, I'm honored to stand before you today as Brigadier General Wycliffe Keita, hosting my second commissioning ceremony and my first as a Brigadier General. And I'm deeply grateful to the Commander-in-Chief for this privilege. On behalf of uh, Uganda Military Academy Kabamba, I welcome you all to this commissioning ceremony of Cadet Cohort 3 comprised of uh, professionals and bachelors of defense studies cadets of INTEC 7 and INTEC 3, respectively. Today marks a significant milestone in the lives of these dedicated individuals as they transition from training to leadership roles. We celebrate their achievement with immense pride and joy and we are honored to share this moment with you all. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to each one of you for your unwavering support, which has been instrumental in our success. Your Excellency, sir, it is my honor to present to you 203 officer cadets who have successfully completed their cadet course and are now ready for commissioning. This distinguished group comprises of 128 professional cadets of INTEC 7 and 71 officer cadets of INTEC 3 under the Bachelor of Defense Studies program. Your tireless effort, expertise, and commitment to excellency have shaped our outstanding cadets into leaders of character, intellect, and professional competence balancing practical skills with essential soft skills. Your dedication serves as a shining example of the power of collaboration and teamwork, and I'm honored to work alongside each one of you, confident that these officers will make valuable contributions to our country's defense forces. On completing your training, as you begin this new chapter, in your distinguished careers, remember to embrace lifelong learning, cultivate physical and mental well-being, and uphold our sacred values of discipline, loyalty, duty, and patriotism. As you join the noble ranks of our armies, you will carry the mantle of our nation's trust, vigorously defending our freedom peace and stability. Discharge your duties with unwavering integrity, never succumbing to self-interest, lawlessness, or destructive forces. You embody the fresh vigor revitalizing our purpose. We charge you to remain resolute in your commitment to our great nations, honoring the legacy of our heroes who have secured our peace and stability. Congratulations once more 
and may your service be marked by valor, honor, and distinction. Your graduation marks the end of a challenging journey, but also the beginning of a new chapter in your military careers. Today, you've, you have earned the right to be proud of yourselves. And we are here also proud to join you in achieving that milestone you have taken. As we celebrate the graduation of these young cadres, I acknowledge the head of state and the commander in chief for the unwavering support to our military and building their capacity to a level where it is now as a professional army. Your leadership, your excellence, and the vision has guided our nation through the challenging times. Therefore, we are grateful for your commitment ensuring that there is a peace and security in our country. The happiest moment for the cadets is now that is an officer. Ranks. Sibiri, 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 Commander, Dr. Ishara. <laughs> 